is done. Netflix big ups. That's probably good for the Google shares that I could have held overnight instead of exercising. But I got some free Google, so that's cool, right? Chipotle closed its doors in its first unionized location. Is this bad for Chipotle? Uh, bad for their public image, great for their investors. All hail King Grixie's Persian God, Slayer of the 300. <laughs> Thank you so much. Netflix lost 970,000 subs. And no one gives a shit, apparently. Interesting. Can I have my paper handed bitch taken away for a month? Yeah, absolutely, Han. What is the Goog split? It was Friday after mar after market on Friday last week. Amazon responding well to Netflix earnings. Good. I can sell more in the money covered calls and hopefully get assigned this time. Netflix revenue, $7.97 billion, estimated $8.04 billion, EPS $3 per share, estimated $2.91. I may not be a pigeon whale giving you large donations, but I like to think of myself as a pigeon snail giving you a penny ad revenue every day. Or <laughs> one, thousand, one millionth of a penny ad revenue every day. Thank you so much, plus on GMA. You don't have to give me anything. It's more than enough that you just come in here and aggravate me sometimes. Do opposite of what should happen and profit. Huh. You got it, Woodlarf. To be honest, I'm stoked for tomorrow. Hashtag don't feed the shill. Listen, Gaff, you got your bonus today. All right. Wait, I come in here and aggravate you like every day. I know. Wrap up, please. Yep, I'm getting to it. All right, so GME today, you know, uh, we had a nice rally into the morning and then more of just like that fucking intraday CNS grind where we, we trade flat and nothing really happens. And two large volumetric short attacks throughout the day, um, both of which basically resolved, you know, with our closing price right almost right where we opened uh actually up for the day 3.54 percent over yesterday's close um you know uh when we're looking at our liquidity model here it looks like we're moving towards another snapback or a crossover uh into tomorrow morning which could lead to some um more upward price action like we saw this morning um when that occurred uh right there in that kind of little diamond shape before the big before the first big short attack um so tomorrow also the last day for t plus two to be realized um any significant volume tomorrow could be a sign of that so we'll be looking for high volume throughout the day um as far as the spy goes it continues to run uh brainer didn't speak out about any fed policy today um which i think you know ultimately is bullish the lack of news uh no news is good news right now and uh i could see especially with netflix earnings performing so well here in the aftermarket well they were now they're dropping a little we'll see um i could see i could see the spy continuing its rally into tomorrow and ultimately moving up into that really important test at like 393 
uh, possibly even breaking out above that and moving up into like the 400 or 410 range over the next week and a half. Um, we'll see how that plays out. Uh, Caterpillar, I know a lot of you are in on this, so I'll kind of cover it real quick. Um, it looks like it did well today. Uh, moved up with a stable uptrend in the Dow. Um, not as accelerated as I would like its move up to be, but still stable. Um, it looks solid. Its next big resistance is here at 182.53. Um, so don't expect too much resistance from the 180 mark, but do note that a lot of people have been carrying this since the lows of like 165 and a test at 180 could see some selling. So I, I would expect maybe a small or medium sized rejection at 180, possibly back to 170 or 182, sorry, uh, back to 178, maybe even 175. Um, this is really normal for Caterpillar uh to to move up and test the next higher resistance fail and then move back up again so watch out for that if you're if you're in cat um if if you held your weeklies on cat overnight uh best of luck to you in the morning hopefully you see some price improvement overnight if not you know tomorrow the rejection may be a good time to average down some timbers or get out of them if you're happy with the profits um thank you guys all so much uh, I really appreciate it. Um, and I will see you all bright and early tomorrow morning. Have a great night guys.